गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट इनिएक यूनिवेक जेनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स एंड टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर फर्स्ट सेशन फर्स्ट वॉट इज इनिएक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक नोमेरिक इंटीग्रेटर एंड कैलकुलेटर The first general purpose electronic digital computer which was invented by George Mo John Mosley and J Persper is correct. It consisted of 18000 vacuum tubes and 1000 times faster than Mark 1. Mark 1 was invented by Howard Aiken. Let's start with Univac. Univac 1. It was first commercial electronic computer was developed by Persper Eckert and John Mosley in 1951. It was also the first computer to hand both numeric and text data generation of computers. Present day computer is commonly classified into generations of computer in which we will learn increase in speed, storage capacity and reliability. will tends to decrease in cost and size earlier the computers were very costly and big in size but nowadays they are very compact and small in size let's start with the first generation of computer the first generation started from 1940 to 56 in which they used vacuum tubes as a circuitry board and data used to be input by punch cards output will reflect as a medium of punch card only external storage they use magnetic tapes they they use machine language and the examples are univac edvac and eniac now let us move to the second generation of computer 1956 to 63 they use transistors same input matter punch cards and magnetic magnetic tapes but the output only Uh, refers into the punch card manner external storage they use magnetic tapes language were used photon cobalt basic and examples are ibm 1400 and 700 series and ibm 350 let's move to the third generation of computer which is started from 1964 to 71 but they use integrated circuits which we can see ics and data used to be input with the help of keyboard output reflects on monitor and they use magnetic disk in terms of, in place of magnetic tape they were start using operating systems which is which were pascal photon cobalt and the examples were ibm system 360 apple 1 let's move to the fourth generation of computer which is 1972 till present we are using microprocessor which are vlsc input methods are now changed keyboard mouse scanner and etc etc here you can say here you can put microphone as well now the in uh, output displays on monitor and printer magnetic disk with higher capacity we use many languages nowadays rdbms c++ etc then ibm pc and apple mac 1984 now fifth generation which may be our future and we will use what robotic technology with artificial intelligence and the data input will be optical fiber technology to handle artificial intelligence and capacity to think and reason it can think and reason ai which we say artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is a technique in which the ro the computer the robotics understand the facial expressions of the human feelings of the human and try to respond in a same manner we have learned in artificial intelligence we have uh, any more uh, sector in artificial uh, intelligence in which i can say uh, the smartphones nowadays having patterns you used to have lock patterns you can use your thumb impression sometimes taking photographs you once you smile it will detect your smile and click your photograph and many more places we can see the artificial intelligence is used 
let us talk about one more example on artificial intelligence which is alexa you have heard about alexa alexa is a uh, an instrument it it is a very good example of artificial intelligence by google given by google you used to say in whatever language alexa used to respond you in same manner if you will say play the music alexa alexa will play if you will say uh, you want to know the address of particular street or you want to go somewhere you can uh, take assistance from alexa same in apple there is a assistance assistance uh, its name is siri s i r i siri whatever the questions in your mind you can ask in your own language and siri will respond you simultaneously as well as nowadays artificial intelligence also used you can see in many places where we can uh, see uh, google translators are there you you want to translate your sentence in any other language you can translate through google translate so we will study about this in uh, upcoming chapters i will explain you one by one now let us move to the types of computer types of computer there are different types of computers with respect to their size speed storage capacity and cost it can be classified as follows the first is micro computer these are very small in size and less in cost these are usually designed for personal use that's why these are called personal computers they are mainly used in homes schools offices shops banks and the exam best example of personal computer are commodore 64 and ibm pc the first microcomputer is desktop computer we can keep desktop computer on the top of the desk due to its small size that is the reason it is called desktop computer but you cannot carry it anywhere along with desktop the second one is laptop computer these are very small in size you can place in your lap these are battery operated and carried in a briefcase and used while traveling as well so you can carry it anywhere if you want let's start with the third type handheld computer these are the smallest computer called pds personal digital assistant the lack of power and desktop of uh, computer but other features are very useful but in limited in function and small in size you can carry it anywhere in your pocket as well it is also battery operated let's move to the second type of computer mini computers these are bigger in size than micro computer high processing speed costlier than micro computer several uses at same time they are used in banks universities and big organization so we can say these are uh, these computers are little bit costlier and bigger than micro computer let's go to the third part mainframe computer these computers are very powerful big in size with large memory and high speed they design they are designed to tackle huge amount of data many users more than 100 users can use micro computer at a same time main frame uh, main frame computer at the same time main frame computers are very expensive and used in large business organization universities bank laboratories airways ticket reservation examples are ibm z series and pda 10 system z10 let's move to the fourth one type of computer super computers they are most powerful computer with a huge processing speed these computers are used for what weather forecasting satellite control space research the best examples are cray 1 cray 2 param eta a10 etc let's do a quick recap abacus was the first calculating device charles babbage is considered as the father of computer and invented a difference engine and analytical engine Augusta Ada Lovelace was the first programmer. ENIAC was the first general purpose electronic digital computer. UNIVAC was the first computer to handle both numeric and text data. 
computer are categorized into four types with respect to their speed storage size and cost the four types of computer are microcomputer mini mainframe and supercomputer thank you